hey guys welcome to another video look at this scoopable foaming body scrub i was so happy when i finally found the perfect recipe let's get into it okay so first i'm going to add my glycerin so i can create my slurry we're just going to measure that out And then we want to add our thickener. So I use xanthan gum as a thickener because a little goes a long way. It doesn't take too much. We're going to zero out our scale and then we are going to add some powdered sea moss. So sea moss is good for moisturizing the skin and things like that. It's packed with lots of vitamins. Um, this powdered sea moss, it also thickens up your formula, which is why I didn't use a whole lot of sea moss or a whole lot of xanthan gum because I was going to use both of them and the sea moss acts as a thickener and you know a moisturizer and then we're just going to mix it up to create our slurry so because this is my first time you know um trying this formulation out I didn't have enough glycerin so I'm going to go back and add some more glycerin to the slurry making sure that I measure everything and then I write everything down so I know how much of everything that I added that's very important especially if you are trying out a formulation that you are creating on your own you want to make sure that everything is precise so the next time you make it you'll receive the same consistency And after that, we're just going to add it to our African black soap and water mixture. So I had mixed this before I started the video because I wanted to African the African black soap to, um, you know, melt just a little bit. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah. No, maybe. <laughs> for it to um, combine with the water and, you know, for the chunk to dissolve. There we go. To dissolve in the water. And we're just going to mix all of that together. As you can see, it's thickening up from the xanthan gum and the sea moss. And then we're going to put it back on the scale and add the rest of our water to complete our phase A. So this is just distilled water. You can find distilled water at about any grocery store. They used to be 90 something cents, but the distilled water here is now like a dollar, dollar nine or something like that. So it's, it doesn't cost too much. And we're just going to mix all of that together and then we're going to put it back in our double boiler. That way everything can heat up and incorporate together. Oh, well, <laughs> I ended up blending it a little more so everything can mix together and try to get the chunks of um, African black soap to break up a little bit.
And once that has a smoother, thicker consistency, then I ended up putting it back on the double boiler. And now we are going to weigh out our phase B. So we have three surfactants in our phase B. We have one main surfactant and then two co-surfactants. So the first one is the cocomidropyl betaine. That also acts as a thickener. But it's derived from coconuts, and it's pretty good on um, sensitive skin. So I really shoot for surfactants that are good for all skin types, but mainly for sensitive skin, because I don't want anybody's skin to be dried out or anything like that. And then we're going to add our decoglucoside. and also our cocoa glucoside. And then we're going to add that to our double boiler. So now, since everything is close to the same temperature, we're going to take everything out of the double boiler and we're just going to add it into our mixing bowl. So this is phase A. And then we're going to add our phase B, which is our surfactants. And we're just going to mix that all together. But we're not going to mix it too much because <laughs> we don't want to, you know, create too many bubbles. It actually behaved pretty well. It didn't, like, get super bubbly for me mixing or anything like that. Excuse me, bless me. <laughs> I'm also trying to record a video for TikTok. <laughs> so we're just gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. And then this is a up close video of what it looks like once everything is combined. Now, remember, this is just a tester batch, which is why there isn't a whole lot in there. And we're going to incorporate our sugar. Oh, I forgot. So after you mix the two phases, you want to let them cool down before you add your sugar. That way your sugar doesn't devolve, um, devolve, dissolve <laughs> into phase A and phase B. After I let the sugar and everything cool down, I came back and stirred it a little bit more, checked the consistency. So after this go around, I just covered it up and then I let it sit for about an hour or two. And I kept coming back to check it. I think this was just the um, the up close of the video that you just seen me doing. So this is after I let it sit. Now I'm just going to scoop it into my jar. Look at how thick and creamy it is. Oh my goodness. And if you could just feel it on your skin. <sighs> when I got out of the shower after using this, my skin felt silky smooth the exfoliation was perfect the creaminess was perfect the bubble was perfect the lather and i didn't feel dried out which is what i love about using the surfactants that i use they don't dry your skin out
So after we scoop it into the jar, we're just going to perform a lather test and you can see how it came out. Now, you do know well, you might not know, but when you let your um, products sit overnight, sometimes the next day, the um, the foam payoff is just a little bit better. So this is right after I put it into the jar. And look at how creamy it is. You're going to see some bubble in there. Look at the lather. And just imagine when I used it the next day. Oh, my goodness. It was like heaven. And that's what I desire to do, to create a heavenly experience. <laughs> Or a relaxing experience, you know, a peaceful experience while you are bathing or taking a shower, you know. All right. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you later.